Hello, my name is Ector. Welcome back to Project Ozone 2 Reloaded. Yes, we are back. How is everyone doing? Hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a good day. Hope you're having a very good day. How are the potatoes doing? Uh, not too bad. Not too bad. So, we are going to be starting our first kind of project at the new tree base uh, today. The tree house base? The tree base house? I don't know. Um... We are going to be making a grinder, and I've got some stuff ready, got some stuff, as you can see. Uh, got got some of the books, got that, got that, got that. I don't have this yet, uh, which is quite a gl Oh, do we just... Just chisel it? Does it have to be that? Interesting. Okay, do I have any glass anymore, actually? I don't know if I do. Um, this could be an issue. I actually made, I think, too much sandy glass. Which we will get to uh, shortly. Okay, let's get that. Have I got my hammer anywhere? Is it in here? Yes, it is. Uh, and do I have the, the doohickey of... Yep, yeah, it is. There we go. Let's come down here. Thing, yeah, everything is kind of good. Um, so, how's everyone doing? Hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a good day. I need to make some... And I know, I know, I could... Oh, actually... Oh, actually, actually, actually. Oh, damn it. Um, vein miner is. He always deactivates for me. Uh, sneak. Let's do that. There we go. Um, I just thought we have we have this kind of stuff now. What am I doing? The pulverizer. Surely, surely, surely. Oh, that also still grows gravel. Well, that is a little bit annoying, but I'm sure. I'm sure. Oh, we get a little bit of sand. But this is so much quicker than uh, that. This is kind of one of the reasons I prefer thermal expansion to Ender IO. But we can do that quickly. We can get some sand. I've got some string uh, to make wool. Let's do. Oh, let's do that whilst we're just doing that. 16 wool. That's not that much. Don't have that much kind of that. Uh, because I need some of these, basically. Let's see. Yeah, that many. Okay, well, we'll see. We shall see. I should have that, yeah. Uh, let's go to dark glass. Dark glass. Need a fair amount of this stuff. How many? Five. I don't think that will be enough. I don't think that will be enough. Um, we'll have to see. If I pulverize this again... Oh no, don't. Do not tell me you can't. Shape, shapeless, smelting, enrichment, crusher. Put it in a crusher. Oh yeah, gravel into sand in the pulverizer. So, is it because this is here? Ah, yes, okay. Haha. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So, I'm going to need a little bit more dark glass. That is, well, that's annoying, but, you know, never mind. That's fine. We can put, we can put this away. I'll put this stuff away. Uh, there we go. Don't need you right now. Let's put that away and that away. I don't know why I'm walking around with a skeleton skull, but I am. I am. Um, let's put you away there. Let's put just the wool there. That's fine for now. There we go. How's the sand doing? Almost done. Excellent. Uh, and then what I need to do... Oh, I've got some dust there as well now. Uh, is I just need a little bit of glass. Just a little bit of glass. There we go. Uh, I need to make myself a chisel now. A chisel. I don't think I've got one. I don't think I've had use for a chisel at all. There we go. Okay. Ah, oh, man. Uh, now, what was it? Quite thick? Uh, quite clear glass. I think it was this, wasn't it? I think it was that. Oh, oh no. No, no. There we go. Uh, we put that there. And then some of that. Yes. Haha. -ha. Excellent. Okay. Now we need some plastic sheets. And I don't think, I don't think I actually have uh, any rubber stuff wood or anything like that so there's some here so yo yo 
Let's get all of these. Oh, no, wrong one. Excellent. Excellent stuff. Let's pick up all of the drops. And I think we might even be able to get... Maybe there is a, a quest in the quest book for this. Um, it is in Zeta. It is that one. So I've got the raw rubber. I need all of that. Oh, wow. It's just one. Okay. We can do that. Uh, shall I plant? Let's plant. Let's plant some more trees just in case. I'm probably going to need some more rubber to do all of the MFR stuff at some point. I imagine. Uh, well, oh, wow. That was quick. That was very quick. There we go. There we go. Simple, nice and simple. I'm looking forward to kind of setting up the um the stuff the stuff that we have. I need to be over here because I need to use the redstone furnace. Uh so how much shall we do? Let's Excellent. Oh man, this is so fast. I like it. I like it so much. There we go. Right. There we go. That, that should do as that. Yes. Excellent. Then we put it through again. And we get that. Although I've just realized I've done 25 and it, it needs to be in fours, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. Uh, so let's just leave it. Let's just leave it. Uh, so hang on. Let's just check. Yeah, it's done that. Uh, and now I think it's, it's just like that, isn't it? Yes, yes, it is. Boom. Okay. There we have it. We should be able to claim that. So this is sacred rubber. So I'm looking on the old thing. By the way, someone linked it in my description. Not, not in my description. In the comments to my last video. If you're wondering about the spreadsheet that I'm using to get the, the best reward bag, it's linked in uh, the comments of my last video. I'll try to remember to put it in the description of this video. You may have to remind me because I bet I will forget. But I will try to remember. So this is all basic, basic, basic. So let's get that one. There we go. I don't know what that is, but I mean, we're kind of going to skip a little bit of this. Don't, don't, don't tell anyone. But we are gonna, we are gonna kind of skip it. Grind up. There we go. I should have everything now. There we go. Yes, yes, we do. Excellent. Excellent. Um, let us open. Let's open this bag. Glowstone glass wall. Okay. Um, interesting. I mean, I was going to say that's a bit rubbish, but maybe, maybe with our current predicament of, um, of not having that much kind of, uh, or I was going to say light over at the tree base. Um, maybe that's not too bad a thing, having a bit more light available to us. Oh, there's some more. Oh, oh okay, those are mega ones, which I don't want to be planting anywhere. Um, so, I'm going to grab a bit of dirt from somewhere, and then we're going to head over there with some, um, some wood and start to kind of plot out where we're going to do uh, this grinder. So I will meet you over there. Here we are back. I've kind of started doing a platform, so you can see it's not like too far up. Um, I think we'll do a lot of it down here and then maybe save some other stuff for up here. I don't know what yet, but I've kind of done like a platform around here in just an elk slab. Um, I did think briefly about making it all like like it's you know a branch but a that would take I think too much building time and b I kind of just want it to be like we've just colonized the uh, the tree itself you know we've not changed anything about it we've just kind of built on top of it I think that's a nicer kind of look so uh, one two three four five and then from here we'll make this little bit uh, a little bit bigger because this is where the kind of thing is going to be and in fact uh so this is basically where the cursed earth will go this is what this is what i'm thinking currently um like that so it's a five by five area and then four high and then the grinder might sit there for instance let's just put that there bam so something like that uh we have i know i could be doing this with a thing but it's okay it's okay uh, I just want to get a little bit of a sense. I might do something like that for now. So we have the grinder here, maybe. The glass. Oh, actually, 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 what I was thinking is that 
Oh, no, no, no. That would put the glass and make it too wide uh, because I'm a little bit scared of the um, of those creepers because they are deadly. They are deadly and they will kill you. So let's do it that way. Okay, so, so that would mean the glass goes like that. That and then we have another row. So oh, I'm gonna have a lot, a lot more glass to make actually. Yeah, definitely, aren't I? Um, because this needs to go uh, two, three, four high like that as well. And then obviously it needs to also well. Actually, yes, no, it does. Uh, I was gonna say maybe we don't need to do that, but I'm I might be able to put something else there. So that is the kind of how big it is going to be and then actually what am I, it's going to be that as well and it's going to be quite big yeah it's quite a little quite a big little uh big little thing so this is probably going to come out here a little bit i won't do all of this on camera but i thought it might be nice to see a little bit on camera you know just to see what i'm up to what i'm up to when i do these off camera bits i'm gonna have to make a lot more i don't know if i've got enough string to make enough wool to make enough of it, really I don't know I'm not I'm not certain not certain how that's gonna go and then what I want as well what I'm gonna have or need probably at the back maybe at the back I kind of want so that I could you know if we have like some kind of entrance here uh, I don't know why you would but let, let's just say for, for now uh, we come out here and we just see the actual grinder happening and then we can go beyond it basically and maybe back here we have all of the um, all of the storage stuff you know something like that I think that's the way I'm gonna go and I don't know if we'll do all of the storage today I don't know we'll see we'll see I'm gonna have to make a lot of storage but I think actually what I'm really gonna have to do now is uh, make a lot of glass. Let's see how much we get with what we have right now. I'm kind of thinking, wondering whether, oh yeah, look at that. I've got 12 left and I've got so much more to do. Um, whether we should do the corners as well. I think we should. Just to provide us that bit more protection really. Because yeah, I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm really scared. And actually, ooh, um, the grinder needs to go here. So that actually needs to be kind of loose, doesn't it? That needs to be open for the grinder to actually go there. In fact, let's put the grinder down. No, oh, wrong way. Of course it is. Oh, wow. That was a bit of lag there. The other way around. It's been a while since I've played with MFR. There we go. Okay, so that is that goes there. This, um, but I think you can expand it. Maybe not. I can't remember. Ah, and yes, we need to put a um, a drum on this as well for the essence. I forgot about that. It's been a while. It's been a fair while since I've used this. So I'm going to do a little bit more work on this. Maybe extend the platform a little bit. Quite close, but I don't want it to be too far out. Um, and yeah, I'll, uh, I'll do some more work. Okay, so I have finished the box kind of bit. I quite like the fact that you can see it's a box within a bigger box. I, I like that. I also like the fact that it is kind of hovering a little bit. I was gonna, I was going to kind of do something to it, but I kind of like the fact that it's kind of so bare actually. Um, it took me quite a few trips back, maybe about three trips back to the base and getting more string and all of that stuff and oh, yeah, all of that goodness. Now, have been thinking. I have been thinking, uh, which is a dangerous thing to do, um, that perhaps, perhaps I should not um, put a storage thing here. Uh, I was thinking maybe I should do the old, put an ender chest there, so it spits out everything into there, and then somewhere, somewhere in the base here, around here, we should have, uh, maybe down here in fact, because I what I want to I don't want to do is like at the old base basically everything is just kind of you know placed randomly really uh, and there's no kind of forethought as to where stuff might go and I don't want to do that in this one I want to kind of start planning things now so what I was thinking is 
maybe down here somewhere we have like the storage area uh, and that means we have to have we have to think about having um applied energistics here so you know a terminal with all of those kind of things uh, and then just lots of storage on the walls that we have automatically going in via ender chest into storage so just a lot of storage capability around here uh, and and yeah and then further up maybe you know like say here we have all of the machines or a lot of the machines so we can just kind of you know fly around oh we need some of that stuff we'll just go get that and then over here okay we'll just put that in and you know something like that i was thinking what do you guys feel how do you how do you feel about that i think that might be possibly a good thing to do and to start to work towards that rather than just kind of bit by bit um you know not not just not planning it out and having to having to then you know work work around it basically now the other thing i was thinking i've got these i've got these things here that we've had for a while um and i wanted to see how they work so i was going to do that and then that not not connect interesting oh that does like that Ah, can you own? Oh, can you only go? Only go across. Is that what it is? Can you not go up and down with these? Because that's basically what I wanted to be doing. Um. No. Ah. Oh, that is. Oh, that is a bit gutting because I, I was kind of thinking maybe we could have these in the base like running up and down i mean it would have only been for show because i don't think that that useful um especially not with like um the elevator blocks that you can have um but let's do it this way let's see i don't okay i don't really understand clearly how these work um it just says end points for long range viaducts. So these are the long range ones. These should be the end points. No, I don't get that. Don't I, I would have thought that would work like that. Um let's just quickly let's just quickly go to the base again. Cause I have I have some more look, it, this is what I mean. Like I don't want it to become another base like this where everything, you know, is just everywhere. And all my chests are a complete and utter mess. Where are... And I can't even... I can't even remember where these things are now. The viaducts. I thought they were, I thought they were here. Ah, there we go. So that is a normal viaduct. No, oh, I don't... I don't get this then. I don't know how you use them. <laughs> Oh, I bet it's really simple. Um, never mind. Okay, well, never mind. That is not that is not going to happen then, is it? Uh, let's. Where, where did I get them from? There. Okay, let's just put them back in there. Um, never mind. Okay, well, that's not going to happen. We're just going to have some elevator blocks uh, in the middle. So if we had a platform here, you know, say with an elevator block on, then maybe, you know, we have obviously some other entrances and exits here with some more kind of little. Um, uh, little platforms on and yeah i this was my idea so maybe if you think for any reason that this is a bad idea let me know i uh, i don't know maybe you've done something like this before and you thought you know what next time i do that i won't do it that way let me know that would be that would be really nice let me know so so what i think is we're gonna have that there maybe maybe I can't remember how this works, how it spits stuff out. Um, I don't know if I need... Can I? Um, I don't know if I need to have like a, an extraction pipe on it. I don't know. I should look that up. I should try that. Let me test that out quickly in uh, a test world. Right, okay. Um, I've tested it. It all works. I'm just getting my vibrant capacitor bank because we don't really. Oh, and it's almost night. This was an error. Um, but basically, um, I want to at some point replace this with a um, 
some kind of tesseract probably uh, so that should go there this should yeah that should work there then we need to hook oh hey hey hook this up under here like this bam uh, and that should basically um, hook straight up. It doesn't look like I need to kind of put anything in. Oh, and I'm, I'm going to sleep. I'm going to sleep quick because I don't want to have to do all of this very quickly. Right there. Now, this is the bit that I'm kind of scared of most. I don't actually have enough to fill this entire thing. So I'm just going to have to put um, as much of it down as I can. And then uh, we will put dirt and that will spread to the dirt. I don't like this. Don't like this at all. Then, oh, ooh, wow, it's already there. It's already there. I'm scared. I'm very, very scared. Put this down. There we go. Okay. Okay. Oof. Oof. Now, how much is this taking? I don't actually know. Um, the creeper. There's a creeper essence there we go that's doing that so we're getting stuff look at this um 138 uh, million 138 million so that's quite a lot is it oh it's raining it is raining now but this is working nice this is working very nicely so i think we've done it so i don't know if next episode we need to start working perhaps on a well, there's a few things that we need to do. Storage, uh, a machine kind of area, and a power generation. That, I was thinking, would be nice to have like some kind of power gen up here, maybe. Um, but I don't know. We might just do some more grinding stuff next episode. I don't know. Let me know. Let me know what you think. Would you like to see more of that? Um, storage, just basic grinding. Let me know, or just more tree house kind of tree based stuff. It's not really a tree house, it's a tree base, I suppose. And uh, I'm gonna cut this bit off as well now since we won't need it. It's nice and kind of compact. Um, so there we have it. We have our first kind of little project at the new tree base done. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I'm very excited to start uh, doing more stuff here. How are we doing? How are we doing on everything? This is not taking that much. Oh, what's that? Ooh, I don't know even what that is. What can we do with that? Okay. Uh, oh, okay. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, well, look. Hey, see? Already we're getting we're getting cooler drops than we did before. So I'm liking this. This is this is going to be a good thing just to get, you know, just a few more kind of resourcey things and um, some maybe more of the rarer stuff. This is excellent. So I'm very glad we did this. So thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, a like or comment is always very much appreciated. And of course, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all of Project Ozone Banished. I have single player um, and multiplayer um, vanilla series and then tutorials as well. Plenty of stuff going on. Thank you so much for watching. I've been Hector. This has been Project Ozone 2 Reloaded and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.